Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Yi from Red's Lab, Imperial College London. The topic of my presentation is Efficient Grasp, a Unified Data Efficient Learning to Grasp Method for Multi-Finger Robot Hands. Multi-Grasp Robot Hands can be defined as grippers with three or more fingers, whose proximal joints are not fixed and can be repositioned. Due to this advantage, this kind of gripper has better potential in in-hand manipulation. Here are examples of two commercial hands, robotic and barrier hand, and one designed by our lab, the loose hand. However, the existing grasping methods for multi-finger robot hands are mainly designed for one gripper. An unified synthesis named Unigrasp was proposed recently, and it can be applied to different grippers. But it still has two problems, namely, it extracts gripper feature from its whole configurations which makes the algorithm cumbersome and hard to apply. Secondly, it's not generalizable enough because it cannot be applied to grippers with closed-loop chains like Booth. Therefore, in this work, we propose a novel unified framework named Efficient Grasp for different kinds of grippers. It's mainly consisted of three parts, then the feature extraction part, contact points generation part, and inverse kinematics computation part. In the feature extraction part, we extract the gripper's feature from its workspace rather than from its both open and most closed configurations. Then, we reconstruct the workspace using an autoencoder and a decoder. By minimizing the chamber distance between the ground truth workspace and reconstructed one, a good network will be trained for extracting the feature. Since the workspace of a gripper is unique and can be clearly defined, such that the configuration implicity problem is overcome. Besides, less memory usage is required for extracting feature from the workspace. Then, we concatenate the gripper feature with the object feature by replicating gripper feature along the first dimension by m and change it to be m by 256. Then, fit the concatenated feature into a pre-trained PSSN to generate contact points on an object. The contact points are generated one by one. The number of contact points can be modified by changing the layer of the network. With the generated contact points, we train the gripper to approach the contact points using SAC algorithm. Thus, we don't need to know the mathematical model of the gripper. And it is feasible to any kind of gripper including the grippers with a closed-loop chain. To evaluate the training, we generate 100 sets of points randomly in the space, and the outcomes are shown in the right button clips. The proposed method was tested in the public simulation. 16 objects from YCB dataset are tested in different orientations and locations. Each object were given 5 attempts, as is shown in the clips. Three grippers, namely loose, robotic, and barrier hand, were tested in the simulation. The success rate for these grippers are around 85% out of 80 trials, which indicates the effectiveness of the proposed method. The proposed method is also tested in reality using a UR5 robot arm attached with the loose hand to grasp 18 objects from the YCB dataset. Same as in simulation, each object were tested five times in different orientations and locations. The object point cloud is captured lively by a RealSense camera. Here we give four examples of point cloud capturing and contact points generation. As you can see on the top left of each clip, the point cloud of the objects were captured by the camera, and three contact points were generated on the point cloud. The gripper will move towards the contact points to apply a grasp. These clips show the grasps on objects in different orientations. The proposed method achieves success rate of 83.3% out of 90 trials. Finally, we analyzed the possible reasons for the field trials. Firstly, the grasp quality score is proposed based on force closure estimator. The GQS is used to evaluate the force closure condition of the generated contact points. 
any GPS larger than 0 0.75 indicates that the contact points are valid for successful grasp. As shown in the table, the mean GPS of our method is around 0 0.85. This indicates that the generation of the contact points is not the main reason for the field trials. Then, we tested the object in different orientations and found that although the third contact points are in force closure, they are unreachable by the robot arm. So the object orientation and camera view is one of the reasons for failures. As shown in these clips, the physical limitations of the gripper is the other main contribution to the failures. Here we show the field trials because of low surface friction and exceeds of the gripper payload. The advantages of the proposed method can be concluded as less memory consumption, higher grasping success rate, and more generalizable to different grippers. In the future, we are planning to focus on including a dynamics-based contact points estimator if an object mass is detected to be unequally distributed, and also explore the e-hand manipulation after a first grasp attempt. Thanks for your listening.